Deep in the wilds of West Texas, Jerry Wyant coaxes his elderly motorbike up to the top of the Davies Mountains. He and his trusty bike have made the same journey to work every night since the Apollo program. He is on his way to the Texas Laser Ranging Station. This small outpost is one of only three of its kind in the world. We're the last living Apollo project. Many, many people think the Apollo projects, oh, they're, they're dead and gone. That's not true. We're still getting viable data. Scientists all over the Earth are still using that data. So we're still operating, in spite of the fact that everybody has forgotten what the word Apollo uh, used to mean. Each clear night, Wyant focuses his telescope on the lunar surface and fires a powerful laser straight at the moon. This will measure the exact position of the moon in space. All right, we're ready to fire the laser. So what we hope is that uh, our beam goes from here to the moon's surface and it comes back. And uh, our goal is to measure how long does it take for our light to go from here to the moon and back. Their target is a simple device placed on the moon over 35 years ago. The Apollo astronauts left behind some simple glass reflectors, rather like the reflectors on a bicycle light. So this is a, a chunk of glass that's a corner reflector, and you can see it, it's, it's three sides, and this would be the front side. So light entering here will go directly back to its source, and then our, our telescope gathers that light and then uh, feeds it to our detector. There are four panels of reflectors on the moon, placed at four different sites. This one I'm holding in my hand is, is one, and you can, you can see there's a row of 10 by 10. This is a panel of 100 of these individual corners. You look at the footprint. You can see the, the astronaut's footprint in the, uh, the moon's surface here. And, uh, this is Apollo 14 site, the second site. And, it, and if you, it, I don't know if you, you can see it, but there's a, there's a, a, a bag, a ziplock. There's a ziplock bag right here. You can see the red seam. Uh, the astronauts were not required to uh, pick up their litter. So there's a free Ziploc bag if anybody would like to have it. If the moon's orbit was fixed, then its distance from the Earth should have stayed the same ever since Jerry began his measurements. But it hasn't. The moon, it seems, is on the move. The moon is receding at a certain rate per year. 3.8 uh, centimeters uh, per year, I believe, that it's, it's moving out, moving away, receding. It doesn't sound like much, but over time it's going to bring some big changes. As the moon pulls away, it'll put an end to one of nature's most glorious spectacles, a total solar eclipse. The moon is 400 times smaller than the sun, but at the moment it's also precisely 400 times closer to the Earth than the sun is. This amazing coincidence means that when the moon passes directly in front of the sun, it appears exactly the same size. We are living at the only time in the history of the solar system when this unique spectacle is possible. As the moon drifts away from us, this awe-inspiring sight will be over forever. <laughs>